CompTIA ITF plus Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 4.3, Explain the Purpose and Use of Programming Concepts. Functions. Let's start with the basics. What exactly is a programming function? In simple terms, a function is a reusable block of code that performs a specific task or set of steps. This enables programs to be divided into reusable components. Think of it as a set of instructions that we can call upon whenever we need to perform that task, without having to write the same code over and over again. Now, let's explore the input and output aspect of a function. Think about a vending machine. You put coins in, that is your input, then you press a button, and out comes your snack, that is your output. Functions work in a similar fashion. You feed them some data or values as input, they process it, and then they give you back an output. And now, let's explore how to put our functions to work. In programming, this is referred to as calling the function. This involves using its name and passing the function any necessary inputs. The function can then carry out its tasks and hands you back an output. I have provided you with a definition for functions and we have discussed inputs, outputs, and calls. While this would be enough information to answer any questions about functions on the ITF Plus exam, I think you would benefit from seeing this concept in action. So here we go. For my coding example, I will be using Python. Okay, time to go line by line. On line 1, we declare a variable named global number and assign it the value of 4. On line 2, I have left a space. This is common practice just before defining a function as it makes your code easier to understand. On line 3, we define our function. Def is a keyword used to define a function in Python. This is followed by the function name. The function name is what we will use to call the function when needed. I have named this function double, as the purpose of this function will be to take a number as an input and output twice that number's value. Inside the parentheses, we have a parameter. In the context of a function, a parameter is a variable that is used to pass information into a function. Here I have named our parameter local number. On lines 4 and 5, we have two indented code statements. These are the lines of code that will execute when the function is called. Line 4 reassigns the variable local number with the current value of local number times 2. On line 5 we output the new value of the local number variable. On line 6, I have left another space to assist in the readability of the code. On line 7, we call the function double by using its name. Inside the parentheses is our variable global number. This is the input we will pass to the function. This input will then become our parameter or variable named local number. And that is what a function will look like in code. Now, one more concept to learn before I wrap up this video on functions. I would like to teach you about global and local variables. And I must admit, I was deliberate when choosing my variable names this time around. Global and local variables are fundamental concepts in programming that define the scope or accessibility of variables within a program. A global variable is one that is defined outside of any function or code block. It holds a scope that extends throughout the entire program, enabling it to be accessed and modified from any part of the code. These variables are often declared at the beginning of a program. On the other hand, local variables are confined within a specific function or code block. They have a localized scope, restricting their accessibility to only the function or code block in which they are defined. These variables are particularly useful for storing temporary data required for a specific operation or calculation. Since each function call establishes its own scope, local variables within that scope don't affect other parts of the program. In summary, global variables offer universal accessibility throughout the program, while local variables are confined within their respective functions or code blocks. Additionally, local variables will no longer exist in memory when the function that defines the variable finishes and passes control back to its calling program. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.